we're in Davao right now. This is where Max oh, Mango in- started. And we eventually branched out to Manila. But we're really from Davao, homegrown. So this is where we choose this is where we chose to be locked down. <laughs> okay. So yung lockdown ninyo is uh, again, um, how is life treating you with this lockdown na uh, Mickey Ivan? Kumusta? Kumusta naman? Well, there's no sugar coating the lockdown for service, no? It's very very difficult. And I'm sure everybody has their own different level of struggle. Um, as for us, we're sort of focused mainly on survival right now. Um, 100% of Max Mango stores with the company owner franchise are inside the mall. So during the period of lockdown, what that meant for us was that every single branch was closed. So right oh. now, yeah, we had to introduce a lockdown menu in order, you know, in order to cater to our customers, in order to stay relevant, in order to still be in the market and to keep the cash flow going. So this lockdown menu is very different from our current menu. We had to adjust it in a way where it would be okay even after a very long, tedious, and ma-init delivery. And this is how we're surviving. Miki, maganda dito eh. Pag-usapan muna natin itong ano. Itong may share ako sa inyo eh. Alam mo mga kaibigan ito. Ang sinasabi nga natin eh, si Miki daw ay isang ex-PBB uh, housemate. Yan ba? Ito ho. Uh, <laughs> nako, ya. Nako, Miki. Kwento mo nga sa amin. Ito naman. Uh, ano ba ito? Sino ba itong nasa left and the right? <laughs> well, the one wearing orange is 18 years old pa po in that picture or 17, I think. The one in the eyeglasses is matanda na kasi nasira na yung mata niya. <laughs> okay. How was it? Ano yung kwento ng PBB? Uh, give me some... Uh, refreshing uh, moments ni ni ano ni Miki Arceo. Okay. Well, actually Sir Boots, I was in the shortest edition of PBB because this was the very first teen edition that was released. So because it was a teen edition, um you know, the government was keeping a very close watch on us, the Department of Social Welfare or whatever, were making sure that all the children were being treated properly. So, actually, our entire edition was only six weeks long. And I was in there with Kim Chu, with Matt Evans, and Gerald Anderson. Those are the ones who are still relevant in showbiz today. So, you mean, to say, you mean to say kasama mo si La Chris Chu? Sino pa? Sino, ilan yung mga Kim, batch? Kim Chu. <laughs> ah, Kim. Chris Chu, no? Yeah. Kim Chu. Okay. Si Kim Chu. And who else? Gerald Anderson, Matt Evans, Ninia Jose. Those How was life? Important. How was life uh, during your PBB? Well, as a teenager, po inside PBB, you don't really notice the difference. It's just like being locked in a house. You don't even see the cameras. So we were just being ourselves. Po. This was a very early um, episode of PBB. This was back in 2006. Pa. So overall, only the third episode of PBB. So, wala pa yung mga, you know, people who are really fighting that they want to win, they want to win talaga. We were just having fun. So, but, but again, so parang sanay ka rin pala sa lockdown. This is your second lockdown, Mickey. <laughs> parang, this okay. is your second lockdown, right? right? Pero mas matagal uh, para bang, po ito. Oo, oh, pero matagal ito, no? Para bang uh, nakakatuwa dahil uh, you've been a... P- but uh, what did you learn as a PBB housemate? Uh... Considering that you were with with now your housemates na mga famous and you're also one of the celebrities, ano na mga nas, natutunan mo doon? Uh, the one thing that I'm very proud of po, um, from PBB reports is na never po ko nagpaka-plastic while I was inside. I was always my real self and I knew the repercussions of that. I knew I wouldn't be like very much or by a lot of people because of it. Pero I was willing to take that point. As an entrepreneur, ganun din po ako. I'm still the same. Though, with a little bit more of a filter on my mouth, pero nagpapakatotoo pa rin po tayo. Okay. And again, your nice moments. Ayan. Ako. Nandiyan. Ang gwapo ni Ivan. Di ba? Uh, Ivan. Ayan. Uh, ano ba itong picture na ito? Pakikwento nga naman. Ano mo? Uh, ikwento niya naman. That's our ano wedding. That's our wedding back in 2012. Yeah, naalala niya. 
Uy, naalala mo, ha? December 12, 2012. December 12, 2012. 2012. Na, tama? Correct? Correct, Miki? Yes. Oh, 12, 12, 12. 12, 12, 12, sir, Boots, para madaling ma-remember ng asawa. Ah, okay, okay. Teka, teka. Medyo may catch ako doon. 12 December, 12, ano pa? 2012? Yes. And anong oras? At midnight? 10 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 10 a.m. naman pala eh. So, 12, 12, 12, 10. Di ba? Ma, on time na Pwede na, pwede na. Pwede na yun, pwede na yun. Okay. So, uh, and you were, you had the, uh, wow, two kids. Yes. Ang yes, gagaling yes. naman. Okay. Nine and what, four years old. Anong names nila? The nine-year-old po is Andy, and the four-year-old is Max. Ah, okay. And who is Max on the on this? Uh, you're the one. Uh, how Max is the small island? one. Po. Ah, the small one. Okay. Yung kamo kako po. Ay ay kamo kako. Na ko ay ba na? Nejo mahirap pa tayo na paninindigan yan, no? So. Uh, <laughs> Again, yung isang ano, isang uh, naging naging concern natin dito sa atin, no? Sa negosyo natin. Uh, what are the things that you discovered now with with this COVID? Uh, uh, was it something that you had a discovery moment na as a family? Ano ano nang anong nangyari? I think sir, what's the most important thing that we realized during this whole COVID thing was um Never to put all your eggs in one basket. To always have a plan B. To always have a safety net. And yeah, we're we're glad that we had all those. We're glad we have the emergency fund for the business. We're glad that we had a plan B and the safety net. And that we're glad we had you know somewhat other smaller sources of income so we could survive. So we could keep Maxi Mango going. Uh huh. And uh, as Maxi Mango, uh. Bakit ba kayo nagkaroon ng Maxi Mango? Tell me nga the story of how Maxi Mango. Kasi ito yung papakita kong next eh. No? Para bang nat- natutuwa ako ko dito. Kasi imagine kayong dalawa, uh, you were you were an OFW, Miki, right? Yes, for both of us. Okay. And uh, being OFW, uh, what were you doing there? In, in You were in London, uh, Miki? You, when you yes, met? Yes, for London. So ano nangyari? Ano nangyari doon? Anong... How was the the queen and the the prince and the princess uh, meet? Ano ni kakilala? Medyo oh. nga konting konting love story naman diyan ko naman. Eh. <laughs> well, that was way before London Papo Sir, but we are actually classmates um since high school. Oh, and uh, Ivan, you became a British uh, citizen. Uh were you born there or you were born here in the Philippines? No, I was born in the Philippines. I went there after high school then going back and forth from Philippines to the UK. He flew po kasi, he was still a minor. So he managed ah. to gain British citizenship. Yeah, through my mom. My mom is a nurse there. We were working for quite some time. So okay. I got and citizenship to her. Wow. So you're, st- you're still a dual citizen, no? Uh, yeah, British, yeah. British and uh, Filipino, no? Uh, oy, sabi ni Goody, Director Goody, ha? Oy, ito yung tin-interview natin to. Nagbabiral to si uh, Director. Interesting daw topic, Kuya Butch. <laughs> Naku, lalo na XPBB, bro. Yan, XPBB. Okay. So, again, uh, ito na yun, eh. Ano itong story ang ito, Miki? Mukhang, mukhang, um, ano ba yung, ikwento mo nga na, ikwento mo nga, ano nangyari dito sa story, itong picture na ito. Those are very, very good memories po para sa amin, Sir Woods. When Maxi Mango started, we were selling in the parking lots of the mga malls. So this is one of those parking lots. This is actually SM Planang in Davao. We didn't even have uniforms yet. Our aprons were very roughly made. As you can see, tarpaulin lang po yung gamit. And kami po mismo ni Ivan yung nagkatrabaho. No, hindi kita si Ivan sa picture. No? Pero, yeah. Um, simple beginnings. And it just really clicked here in Davao and it grew to what it is today. But we're yeah. glad that we have a background like this. We're, we, we very fondly remember you know, the times where we were working like that. 
Pero Miki, uh, tell me one thing. Being uh, an XPBB and all this, uh, starting a business, hindi ba minsan yung iba, ayoko, nakakaya, ayoko kasi ano sasabihin ng mga magulang ko, ano sabihin ng, pere, ng mga kaibigan ko. Was that ever a factor that helped, that stopped you or you were able to, to conquer or, or in other words, napigilan mo yung hiya? There was nothing to conquer po for me, Sir Boots. I know that that is a struggle for a lot of people, pero I've never been the kind of person kasi to let um, pride lead the way that I make decisions. Um, as for being an ex-PBB housemate or an ex-celebrity, I was born and raised here in Davao, so people are so nice sa akin here. Nobody makes me pansin here. I'm left alone, not like in Manila. But, yeah. Um, as for, you know, the things that my parents say, sometimes parents can be harsh. Mm -hmm. And I did hear, you know, my dad say one time na, na, you know, I didn't raise you to become tindera lang. Pero that is something that I I sort of gained strength from. That's, okay. that's the kind of thing that actually makes you stronger. It doesn't, it, doesn't, it doesn't put me down. I don't care what people think of me. I, I work hard for myself and for my family. Wow. Powerful, ah. <laughs> powerful. Wow. Uh, bakit ba yung mga na-interview kong babae lahat dito, eh, uh, very powerful. Nagsimula yung kia niya, nagsimula yung... Naku, eh, talagang mukhang the women are wearing the pants now. Ewan ko kung pabagay ki director yan, no? At sa mga iba. <laughs> but nevertheless, uh, Mac, uh, Mac, si tuloy, di ba? Mickey, uh, yung bang, bakit mango? May marami ka naman choices. Ano-ano yung mga iba-ibang choices mo? Tell me what other choice you had. We actually had uh, an ice cream concept go before Maxi Mango was born that mostly dealt with chocolate. Like Snickers, Crunch, Oreos, ganun. We did have fruits, but it was a very small part of the menu. So small that it was overlooked most of the time. And mm. we just noticed when the Maxi na Mango was sort of our best um, you know, when it came to costing, siya po yung pinakamababa ang costing. So, we had this one bazaar in a very quiet mall where we said, let's just try something new. Since we've been doing bazaars for almost two years already, let's try something new. And we just, we drew the Maxi Mango logo on our laptop. We had tarpaulins printed, a very rough poster for our menu, and we weren't expecting what happened at that mall. So parang uh, it really became a turnaround. But yung, how about the research? No? Yung pag-research sa mga product, ng, uh, ano yung products, kayong ba dalawa nag-uusap nag or isa sa inyo nag-divide ng uh, okay, ito gawin mo, ito yung operations, ikaw naman na mag, uh, mag-test, gano'n ba yun? Paano, kayo, pa, paano nga? Kasi alam mo, interesting din ha. Uh, ito nga yung isang tinanong ko, pinost ko eh, kaya nga ang daming naintriga sa inyo eh. Pa, paano mag, ang mag-asawa nagsasama Sa negosyo. Yan. Naku, sagutin mo nga yan sa akin. Ivan, paano yeah, ba yan? <laughs> Ivan, paano naman yan? Sagutin mo naman. Paano ba uh, ang mag-asawa nagsasama na ilang years na ba kayong kasal? Ilang years na daw tayo kasal? Eight years. No, seven. No, no, boy, eight years. Is seven. <laughs> <laughs> ayan, ayan, ayan ho, eh, simple lang, no, simple lang, ha? But uh, again, paano nga nagsasama? Kasi, sa amin. Um, yeah, go ahead. With, with Maxi Mango kasi, uh, we have different jobs. Bigi kasi is more on the marketing, um, sa managing the page. I'm more on the operation side. So, operation, sa mga, sa mga um, stocks, um, Ma accounting, mga ganun. So, Mickey naman is more on the so we have different jobs, we do different things, but in one, ano, one, one brand lang. So, siguro medyo uh, konti lang yung, ano, uh, yung minsan nagpapangga yung aming, uh, ano, yung aming uh, department or yung aming trabaho. But mostly, if, if may nagka, ganun naman, uh, mostly meron siyang, meron kaming argument both uh, me, I have argument, the other argument. So we, we, we balance things, we compare which one is better, uh, saan anong ganda gawin. 
So, we hear each other. Kunyari, meron siyang set, meron siyang point, and then she hear my point as well. So, from there, we balance and, you know, we somehow okay. uh, go for a compromise na, na, na deal or, or a, a decision that we need to uh, take on. So, in other words, kayong dalawa, you take, you take things on the, on the level. Wala naman personalan, siguro, no? No, no, no. no. Yeah. Mostly, okay. talaga is, ano lang, um, pag sa work is, we have different roles. So, from there, so, pabihan ko sa kanya, kung, kung, if, if, if I think that something that she needs to know on her department, so I tell her, oh, look at, look at this, and pag-aralan mo, and she take a decision on that area, and then, hindi ako nakikiala, unless, um, I see something, no, but, pag wala naman, let her do her job, and then I think, she, so, yeah. So in other words, pag nag, uh, when you give uh, instructions to your people, uh, alam kung sino yon. In other words, hindi naguguluan. Kasi minsan mga sa negosyo, no? di ba nangyayari yun? May mga tao tayo, hindi ko alam kung sino, sino susunod lang ko, si boss o si ma'am. Hindi ba? Yung bang, uh, nangyayari ba yan? Or you're trying to avoid that? It does, it does. Uh, I must admit, yeah, it does happen. Uh, pag ganun, uh, we try to, ano naman, we try to, Ang mga, ang mga staff naman namin, and they're very aware uh, of the, the division of responsibilities. Yeah, yeah. The ones who mm. get confused are our franchisees. Kaya sometimes when they call me, I have to be like, oh, you're calling the wrong person. I'll tell Ivan to call you, give me five minutes lang. Or vice versa. Parang ganun. Oh, I get, I, 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 okay, I get your point. No, again, lalo na, nagpa-franchise kayo, no? Uh, ilan na ba franchise uh, branches ng Makti nga pala? How many franchise branches? Maybe 30? Yeah, something, yeah, something like that. 30. Ish. And uh, tsaka natin pag-usapan yung pagpunta nyo sa global. Ha? Maganda pa rin yung ibang story. <laughs> eh. uh, but again, maganda ito because uh, alam mo, ang daming naki- nabing nanonood sa atin. Ha? Uh, si Jennifer Ko, isa rin uh, entrepreneur yan. Uh, si Mitch L. Uh, uh, si Director, si Norma Valenzuela, uh, Jing Diego, hello, uh, Richmond Lim. Uy, parati kong suki ito. Si Richmond Lim, batang-bata ito, pero negosyante na ito. No? Gabi Villar, June, at uh, Lianeta, and Ferdi Dato Loreta, si uh, Parmasya ni Doc. Okay. Um, ito pang isa ba? No? Ito yung uh, ating... Ano, um, Ito, ano nangyari dito? Tell me the story of this. Saan ba ito? This is in LA. This is our branch in Northridge Fashion Center in Los Angeles. Wow. How did it feel na ikaw ay... Uh, bakit ka ba nag-decide kayo? Uh, why did you go to the US? Well, for the Philippines po kasi, Sir Boys, we never wanted to become the kind of brand that was mushroomed absolutely everywhere. For us, with our 50 plus stores, para, para sa amin that's enough na po. Kasi we already have in Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao eh. So we just thought that this was the right next step. Since um, before LA opened, we already had a branch in Singapore. So Oh, nagbukas ka kayo yeah. Singapore before that, right? Uh-huh. Oo. Uh-huh. Tapos Singapore nagkaroon kayo ng eto na sa US. Uh-huh. All right. So tell me what's the picture like? What is this picture that I, I, I were now showing? This picture is, I think this is peak time, if I remember correctly, peak time in the States. Maybe around 6 or 7 o'clock at night, right? about a few hours before the mall closes. And during winter time pa. So it was very nakakatuwa for us to experience na our product, which is ice cream, was parang kinakangkilik po sa States. Even if hindi sila masyadong familiar with this particular Filipino product, plus malamig pa siya and it's malamig outside. Okay. And uh, I noticed you you and you and Ivan spent some great time there. Uh, ano experience in your working? I think we spent three months in the States. How long did we stay there? Yes. Yeah, about three months there. No? It was a very fun working environment. Kumbaga, we, we went back to basics. It was like being back in the bazaar. Na kami mismo yung nag open ang store and we stay there all the way until store closing. It was, it's sobrang nakakatawa po. We, we just, uh, you know, it's menial work. Pero it's work that I love to do. 
being the cashier and making Timpla the ice cream, cutting all the ingredients and just doing mm -hmm. that or being inside the store and being hands-on is very nakakatawa po for us. And uh, yung mga customers niyo, sino-sino? Mga Pinoy ba rin? Marami pong Pinoy na customers, pero yung nakakatawa po dun, sir, po, since marami, mas marami pong customers na hindi Pinoy. So, oh. we get a lot of questions. What is this? What's it made of? What's mixed in it? And we very happily will explain naman po. Yung nakakatawa doon, as cashier, yung napapansin mo po na bumabalik sila. And sometimes wow. may dala pa silang extra friend or something like that. And uh, is this something that you're proud of because you brought sa the Philippine mango? Yes, we're very, very proud po. Not just because it's the Philippine mango that we managed to bring to the States, but because of being provincianos. Ivan and I are very proud that we are from Davao and that we managed to turn this small brand that started as small parking lot ng mall into a nationwide brand. And we're even prouder that we managed to bring it outside of the Philippines to Singapore and to the United States. We hope that Davaoenos are proud of us too. Yeah. But ang alam ko, alam ko, tuwan-tuwa ako eh. Dahil nung nakita ko yung post mo, tuwan-tuwa ka kasi ang laki ng tip. Ah, yes! <laughs> ang laki nga po ano? ng tip. Kaso wala po akong cut doon, Sir Boots. That's just for the staff. Ah, o. Oh. Pero what, what did you notice there? The, the spending habit ng mga tao? Yung tip. Ang laki po ng tip. The, the tip po is bigger than what they actually paid for. Or maybe, maybe po dahil November or December, yun that people were feeling very generous. Pero... It's nakakatuwa po kasi ako as cashier, I always go the extra mile. I make sure I smile. Siguro ito po yung natutunan ko sa showbiz na nadala ko into entrepreneurship. Yung tipo, good morning, ma'am, sir. Ganun. So, uh -huh. marami pong customers yung hindi po nila nilalagay sa tip jar. Iha sa'yo lang to, ha. You put this straight in your pocket. Pero, wow. syempre, hindi ko po ginagawa. <laughs> I put it in the tip jar pa rin. Ang galing, galing, galing. Uh, ano ba yung mak ano ba yung uh, pinaka signature? There was a time you had uh, you had an order of what product? What was the product? Uh, sticky rice ba yan? Oh yeah, may mga That's bata all. pa rin. Mm. Oh, oh, di ba? Pero kids, uh, kids won't eat sticky rice. Well, some kids do eat sticky rice. Pero for the sticky rice po, yun po yung malakas sa states. We usually get bulk orders mga like 20 or sometimes 50 and then we put them in boxes na dinadala ng mga tao po to party. Amazing, no? So, uh, talaga oh, mukhang yeah. itong dalawang, dalawang batang ito, eh, talagang ito yung unang-unang customers mo, no? I don't remember po what these two kids were waiting for, pero usually po pag kids ice cream mo naman po talaga. Wow, so uh, ito na yung ano, ito yung maganda. Ito yung mango sticky rice, no? Yeah. Uh, ito, dinala mo rin sa America to, no? Yes po. Actually, mango sticky rice was first introduced in Singapore and then we introduced it again to the States. This was never intended to be introduced to the Philippines. Uh, uh -huh. But we introduced it as part of our lockdown menu for the ECQ. When all so our you're, practices... you're making a twist on everything, no? But based on mango. Ganun ba yun? Anything that we can do with mango, we will attempt to do po. Uh -huh. So, uh, talagang really mango. Okay. Yes, mango. Um, mango. Mango for uh, everybody. But again, how do you now see yourself now with this, uh, with this pandemic? Uh, what have you learned so far aside from being financially literate? Uh, what to you is being a franchisor in this uh, critical moments? Uh, paano mo na-activate? How did you react? Paano yun? Well, we knew we had to do some sort of pivot servos. Um, when the lockdown just started, a lot of people were in denial. They thought that it would be lifted right away after a week, after two weeks, you know, but it just really didn't happen. So we knew that if you didn't adjust to the circumstances, then there was no way you were going to survive. And this lockdown is really all about survival, which is why we had to R&D very quickly and very quickly introduce the lockdown lineup. Which, you know, we call it the lockdown lineup because it's different from our menu. We keep it separate from our original menu. So because uh, so of you, the lockdown lineup, yes, Bob? So you came out, we came out, you came out with a lockdown menu. What is that lockdown menu? Baka yung namiss ko yun eh, yung picture na yun. Uh, what was that? What was that lockdown menu that you initiated? 
Well, first of all, what's the lockdown menu is the mango sticky rice, which was introduced in Singapore and the States, and we never intended to introduce it here, but we did na lang. And then the second one is our two best-selling ice creams, which is the mango graham and the mango cheese ice cream, which we repackaged as hard ice cream. So it's no longer soft serve. It's in a tub, sort of like the select or magnolia style. So when it gets to customers, maganda pa rin po yung quality. So it's very matigas and frozen. Mm -hmm. So you had to act fast. Uh, act fast. So as a leader, you really had to react and bounce back and uh, do some measures to save and especially the branding. Would you say that? Yes, definitely. Kailangan sir, Butz, because it's, we're, we're not, um, you know, the acting fast and the reacting, the working, it's not just for me and Ivan. It's not just for our kids. We have people who are relying on us. Our staff, our franchisees who have made Max Mango their livelihood as well. So, uh, yun yung, yun yung bunga, in other words, that came to your mind, you know, stick, you have a leadership, you have to stand up, you have to make sure be, uh, people gather, everybody gathers and listen to what the, what the pandemic situation will be, no? Diba? So, uh, again, um, where, where do you see now? What is the new norm that you now see for, uh, for uh, Maximango? How... Are there any plans that uh, meron kang gagawin? Uh, for example, uh, I noticed there are a lot of deliveries that you're having right now, uh, even in Davao. Is that yes, working so. well now uh, compared to malls? Yes, the deliveries are working well. Though it's not comparable po talaga to um, operating under completely normal circumstances. Or books, no? But um, our lockdown lineup has been well received so far. So what we are thinking is now we might introduce it side by side to our regular menu once the malls start to slowly reopen. Hindi namin siya tatanggalin completely. Or maybe we'll just wean it, off, wean it off slowly but not abruptly or all of a sudden. Nandiyan pa rin siya. So uh, where do you see Maximango ngayon? Uh, the next uh, one year, medyo short na lang ang ating... Uh, ang ating planning ngayon. Kasi alam mo, sa planning ngayon, dati, di ba? Before the lockdown, we were all planning six months to one year. Uh, ngayon, parang day-to-day -day na, you know, ngayon. Where do you see, uh, where will you go from here, uh, also abroad? I also heard that you had uh, a very well-known artist who had, uh, who had their shooting in your store. Ah, yes. In the States, well, we had filming from Netflix. Sino mo yung artistas there? Nicole Kidman. Name, James Corden. Yeah, James Corden. That was a lot. That was a lot of fun. That was really a once in a lifetime experience for getting to film with a Hollywood crew. Na nasa ano po kami right smack in the middle of everything. We had to stop operations because hindi ko kami nilalapitan because of all the equipment. But that was really fun. Our staff in the states pumasok kaya kwalas sila trabaho just because they want to experience it. Kaya kami. So, sino, sino mga artista nag, nag shoot na sa inyo? Imagine. James Corden, Nicole Kidman, and Meryl Streep. My gosh. We're really excited for that to come out sa Netflix. Kahit background lang po kami. Kahit half second lang. That's, that, that's enough. That's, that's, ano, that's already something to be proud of. Ano, anong title kaya ng movie niyo? Para abangan ng marami ngayon. Dapat, di ba? I'm sure a lot of Filipinos, yeah. ha? It's called it's called the prom. We we think it's a musical. Because the whole time they were there, nonstop kumakanta sila. Hindi ko siya nagsasalita. Wow, buti hindi ka na ako ang extra. Kaya nga lang ba? No no way. Ah, malay mo ay hindi nila alam celebrity yung kausap nila dito, di ba? I would have I would have pushed one of our staff to do it. Yeah, but. I think that's something else. No? I mean, opportunity, you're able to spot opportunity. Like, for example, yung filming na yun. You stop operations, correct? Yes, but we had to. But on the other hand, yung iba kasing entrepreneur, ay wag, sayang, kasi nagbibenta kami, ayaw namin. Uh, but on the other hand, anong naisip mo? Bakit mo you decided to stop and give way to the filming? Because it's an experience to be had. I mean, there were so many other food choices in the food court. We, they could have used anyone as a background, diba? but they chose mm -hmm. us. So even if it's one split second, it's still Netflix. 
diba? Na not everyone can say na I was on Netflix for one second. I was on Netflix for half a second. So I was Tama. going to take an opportunity that was being given to me for free. Oo nga. And no, hindi ka na... <laughs> oh, hindi ba? Hindi ka, <laughs> hindi, ka nagbay, hindi ka nagbayad para kunin sila at para ishoot yung background mo. Pero libre ito. Branding, di ba? Branding. Yes. Free marketing uh, po yan. That's branding. I can imagine when this thing, when this Netflix uh, shooting will come out. Wow, I, I can just imagine the boom of Maxi Mango. So, but again, uh, one one of the things I remember, I interviewed you in one of my uh, seminars, and uh, you really five steps ahead. Ano yung ano yung principle mga yon? Is it really uh, ganyan talaga ang uh, sila Ivan at si Mickey? Yung once talagang always ahead. Well, Mickey and Ivan are always going to be very, very, you know, competitive. Because we're, we've been, you know, we were former OFWs, we were former businessmen before Maxi Mango was born. We've, we've done it all, we've been everywhere, we've had the lowest of the lows, we've had the highest of the highs, and if there's one thing that's for sure, boys, now we're, go- we're not going to let ourselves not survive through anything. Mm-hmm. So We're always would, you, fight. would you say that is uh, uh, important ito sa uh, ingredient ng isang character ng entrepreneur? Anong yes. kung ako ang uh, isang startup ngayon kasi ngayon uh, Miggy at saka Ivan uh, maraming mga nagkakaproblema kasi ngayon sa lockdown na ito yung ibang entrepreneur para bang sabi ayoko na. Talo na ako. Ayoko na magnegosyo. Daming guidelines. Ayoko na magnegosyo. Mahirap. Uh, ano ma-advise mo sa ganung mga tao? You only give up if you lose. I mean, you only you only lose if you give up. For me and Ivan, po, what we learned is now when you are feeling nahihirapan, when you are feeling pain, a lot of people will brush that off. Parang, no, I can't think, I can't think negative, I can't think of the hurt, I have to just let it go and keep moving. We mm. don't agree with that. Po. It's quite a controversial opinion, pero we wear pain around our necks like it's our most expensive piece of jewelry. And we will carry that with us everywhere. Because that is your constant reminder that if I stop, I'm going to go back to this feeling. So you have to keep going, you have to keep moving, and you have to keep fighting para hindi mo po yun mararamdaman ulit. Which is your lowest point. Nobody wants to be there. So you have to keep going. Wow, ang galing, galing, galing. Nakaka, nakakatabang puso, nakakapaga... Alam mo, sa ating panahon ngayon, eh, talagang uh, rally ng rally, no? Kasi... But is it something na, let me ask you honestly, maraming tao dyan na kahit anong motivation mo, hindi pa rin gumagalaw. Ano ba talaga ang problema nung kaya? Kahit anong sabihin mo, uh, makikinig, mag yes pero eventually, ayaw gawin. Maybe ito po yung mga tao, sir, but who haven't really felt real pain yet or who haven't really stood up yet on their own two feet by themselves. Maybe. Mm-hmm. I don't like to judge people, pero maybe. So, siguro ito yung mga, well, they have something to look forward. But again, uh, as entrepreneurs, di ba, misan, uh, or most of the time, we had, sabi nyo nga, you have responsibility over your employees, over your franchises, and especially the brand. No? Kasi ngayon, nowadays, if your brand is silent, especially in social media, eh, ano kaya, wala, malulubog ang, lulubog ang brand, di ba? Para bang, ay, talo na. Diba? Part of so, survival is still may matunog pa rin po yung name. You have to stay relevant. If, even if you're not selling, your name still has to be heard. Pero sa tingin mo, Miki, Ivan, uh, ano talaga unique selling proposition or unique niche ng maximum ko? Kung pagtabi-tabihin ko kayo lahat, uh, alam ko dati dumami, no? parang kumonti na. No? Parang bang, kayo na lang ata rin. No? You started a craze and then everybody went crazy and then now you're back to <laughs> A few. <laughs> ano yes. bang? Ano so, naging ano naging niche ninyo? Sige nga, kasi yung iba sabihin lang, ako, may rapata magnegosyong ganyan. Ah, madali lang yan. How did you, how, what is your niche? In other words, your core competency. Our, well, at the very core of it was our words, no? We have experience with ice cream machines before. Everything that we use for Maximango, 
we have been using for about six years before Maxi Mango started. So we're very familiar and we know what we're, we knew what we were doing. Contrary to what a lot of our competitors thought, na bagong-bago pa kami, na sobrang startup pa kami, uh, we were only new to Manila. But we were already very familiar and memorized. We could have, you know, we can assemble our ice cream machine with our ice blindfolded. Pero besides that po, what we like to think, na what makes us special is, now we're from the province. Not a lot of people survive who are from the province. And besides it being a product that is worthy of, you know, eating, now we like to think that people can also draw happiness from it because mm -hmm. not everybody from the province survives. Especially when, you know, as provincials, it feels scary to go to Imperial Manila and try to and try to survive. Even under yeah. normal, normal circumstances. So not cheap na and that's not that's no easy thing. So uh, when you entered Manila, yeah maganda. Uh, nagdalawang beses ba kayong mag-isip? Or sugod, kapatid? <laughs> sugod, kapatid. Sugod, kapatid. Daw tumatawa siya because sugod, kapatid talaga. We, yeah. ano, sir, we, we put all our equipment, all our ingredients inside the car. We stuffed it inside the car. We stuffed the car in a container van. We flew to Manila and we met the container van at the pier. That's how we okay. started in Manila. Amazing, amazing. And uh, you know, come to think of it, ah, ang laki rin ang sakripisyo nyo. Ah. OFW pa rin kayo. Kasi pag nasa Manila kayo, iniiwan nyo sila maxit yung the other kid, di ba? Yes, that's right. Even when we were in the States, we left them. Oh, I imagine that. That was November, right? <laughs> and you had Christmas there by yourself. And you had the by kids. By ourselves, yes. How was we the feeling? We spent Christmas in the States um, doing laundry. <laughs> Oh my God. Oh, ano, yung, ano yung feeling? I mean, magulang pa rin kayo, okay? Uh, naiwan yung dalawang bata sa Dabao under the care ni Yaya. How was your feeling as a mom? Um, I, some, you know what, Sir, sir but somewhat I felt lucky because my kids are still very young. So, as a nine and four year old, if you drown them with toys, nakakalimutan po nila lahat ng bagay. So, masakit yun for me. But, um, in a way, swear it, like, you know, we have a lot of family here in Dago who are able to cater to our kids. And our super yaya. But, uh, that, was, that was a big decision, huh? Uh, yes. that, that was a big decision on your part. November. Uh, ito pa nangyari. Ito, Miki. Uh, ikwento mo nga yung kumukuha ka ng visa. May takot ka nun, di ba? Sa visa. Yes, po. For, I was denied oh. for a. I've been denied for a US visa kasi already four times. So. <laughs> four times? Four. four times. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sige. Because nursing po kasi yung tinapos ko, sir. Po. So even if I'm very genuine in my intention to go to the States for vacation or for anything else, hindi ko sila naniniwala. So for this last visa appointment, um, I had, when I had it, Ivan was already in the States. So, determining factor siya eh, on whether or not I would get to be with my husband for the three months in the States or whether mag-isa lang siya doon. And I wanted to be with him so much and luckily that the reason this time was not for vacation but for business and I had the paperwork to back it up. So all the consul did was uh, check the Maximago Facebook page and approve na ko. Pero ang anxiety levels ko po have never been so high in my entire life. Yeah, because uh, I know there were four of you in line. Yes, And were. all the first three were not out. Yes, all diba? of them denied. And naririnig ko po, naririnig ko po the entire conversations because that's what it's like inside the embassy. Wow, so uh, you must be having a heart palpitation there, Miki. I yes. mean, <laughs> and uh, you were saying a lot of saying, a lot of times I caught you saying, uh, to Ivan, bye bye, bahala ka, have a nice Christmas. Yes, uh oh. <laughs> diba? And si, alam mo naman, si Ivan, as usual, very low key, pero kinakaban at nalulungkot siya. But how was his feeling? Ivan, nung nalamo mong padating si Miki at nabigyan ng visa, anong feeling mo? At nagsiset up na kayo? Uh, very excited kasi I knew uh, kailangan ko siya to, to make the, to set up the 
the branch in the states because yun nga, magkaiba nga, like I mentioned earlier, magkaiba kami ng trabaho eh. So, she do some other things like the marketing and other stuff, you know. So, I'm mostly sa operations. So, I was worried na hindi siya mabigyan. You know? Sabi ko, it might be difficult to, ano, to, to do it on my own. Na, ano, kasi, kumbaga, team talaga kami, whatever we do. Kaya nagiging successful because we do separate things. No? Meron siyang sariling forte and then sa akin din. So, yun lang. Uh, excited ako na kuha na yung visa niya. Then, you know, we can work together dun sa entire three months na we're setting up the, the, the story. Okay. And uh, I, I guess you felt the same as in you're working as a team, sabi mo nga. And uh, you're really bringing in your flag, staking your flag in the U.S., huh? Yes. Yeah. So, uh, wow, you know, I'm so proud. Ilang years na ang Maxi Mango, by the way? Magdi three years po this December. Wow. Imagine three years this December. And you're in three countries. Yes. <laughs> Wow, you look at your behind, you have a flag of the Philippines, you have the flag of Singapore, and you have the flag of U.S. of A. My gosh. You're supposed to have one more flag, kaso si COVID eh. Sayang, oh well. Well, COVID yeah. has always a chance to kill Mother Earth and always tell people, relax muna kayo, masyado na kayong busy. Oh, so, na covid <laughs> lahat tayo ngayon, di ba? So, yan ang isang covid All right. So, again, um, let's give a final word. Uh, what would, if you were now to open tomorrow and start again branching out, what are the first three things that you will start doing? I think one of, I think the most important of the three things that you would do initially would be to ensure your logistics. Make sure that my staff are able to get to the branch. Make sure that my stocks are able to get to the branch. Make sure that I can monitor all branches regardless of where they are. And uh, the food. Yeah, the quality control. Ayun, yun pa, quality control. Kasi uh, lalo kayo no, sa mango, hindi ba? Iba-iba ang lasa ng mango. No? Minsan you taste yes. something sweet, sometimes uh, hindi matamis. How do you control that? That's a that's one of your uh, your forte, huh? We only use Cebu mangoes, Master. Ah, okay. We only use one particular variety forever. And between the mango of the Philippines and the mango in the U.S., what have you noticed? You were exposed there. You were different mangoes there. May Mexican bayon, may Colombia. How would you rate our Philippine mango? Filipino mangoes po talaga, sir, boys. They're, it's, you know, parehas pare silang mango, pero it's practically apples and oranges. It's completely different. Mm -hmm. So parang talagang kahit mango yan, may Philippine mango pa rin na talagang we should be proud of, right? Yes, definitely. It's one of a kind. World class. My gosh. So again, uh, Miki, Ivan, um, I just want you to say something like a prayer, perhaps, uh, and something like a prayer for us, for the entire nation, and also the business uh, sector. Can you can you give us some some deep prayer coming from from your heart? You pray. Well, mostly, mostly, sir. But our our wish, lang po, is for everyone to just keep going. You, you can't you can't stop you can't give up and covid isn't forever it's definitely not forever but if you do give up then that's going to be forever that's going to impact you forever so just keep going just keep swimming matatapos din to okay so wow so yan po si uh, Mickey at si Ivan ng behind the Maxi Mango O oh, yan, dami nating nagla-like sa inyo. Ang dami raw uh, nakaka-inspire daw yung storya ninyo. At uh, sana raw ay eh, gawing movie ito kasi para bang kayo ay uh, Kathleen Bernardo at uh, you know, sino man yung partner niya. Sino <laughs> daw? <laughs> Oo. Uh, meron nagsasabi dito, oy, parang silang si Kathleen, no? 
Uh, oh, may endorser kayo, di ba? Sino yung naging yes, uh, endorser nyo? Si Kathleen Bernardo? Yes po, siya po. Oo, so uh, nakita ko sa mga post, kumakain siya eh, kahit nagre-review ng script eh, di ba? <laughs> Alright. So again, um, again, Miki, Ivan, I wish you all the luck. I wish you all the best. I wish you all the blessings. And uh, again, I like uh, yung gusto ko yung sinabi mo na this is not forever. May kinabukasan. Meron din tayong laban. And uh, I'm so proud of you because you have brought our Philippine mango in Singapore and the U.S. And really, Thank you also, Sir Boots, for helping us bring it to the U.S. That's because of you and Ma'am Linda. <laughs> Instrument lang po kami. Instrument lang. But you are the big <laughs> Uh, here, no. So again, uh, how will they get in touch with you? By the way, should they want to uh, apply for a franchise, or they want to, uh, you know, get a taste of mango? Because the last time, the ating guest, si Kimi Lu, nagkaroon ng imagination. Mangga pa naman ang sinabi niya. So lahat ng mga nanonood po ay naglaway at naghanap ng mango. So how will they get in touch with you, Miki, if they want to apply for a franchise? All they have to do po is message our page. That's just Maxi Mango on Facebook. Maxi Mango Maxi on Facebook. Maxi with an I. M-A-X-I. Kasi may okay. copycat po kasi kami na tinanggal lang yung I. So M-A-X-I Mango. Maxi Mango. Okay. So let the copycats be as they are because they will not uh, flourish anyway. Iba yung uh, tunay at genuine. You know, yung, yes. And also I think uh, kayo yung fighting spirit eh. The brand will not uh, stand on its own without you guys, without that fighting spirit, right? So again, thank you very much and uh, wish you all the luck. And uh, I hope to see a lot of Maxi Mango in the U.S., not just in California, but more on... Alam mo naman, meron tayong brand na tinulungan at nandung rin kayo sa isang branch na kung sila'y nagsimula sa Pasadena, uh, yes, California, ma. Santa Anita. And I'm sure you're going to follow their their footsteps, you know. Sana, so, um, help po kayo, Sir uh, kaya yan in God's God's help. Okay. So again, thank you very much, and we should luck all all of you. Regards to people in Davao. And by the way, uh, I just want to share with you, we have a very good friend before in Davao by in DTI by the name of Linda Lopez, and she used to work with uh, Yusek Merli of the Department of Trade. And uh, unfortunately, she passed away April 24. She has been a big help to the franchise group. Uh, and um, we salute her and we repose. We pay for, we, we pray for her repose. No? And also, we our condolences to the Lopez family of uh, Davao. Again, thank you very much. Till the next time. And by the way, alam mo, Miki, Ivan, tomorrow, ang ganda ng ating guest, uh, isang uh, banker, na binitawan ang pagiging bankero at imbis na siya maging presidente ng banko, binitawan niya kasi gusto niya raw maging entrepreneur. Alam bakit? Dahil ang hilig niya sa gelato. Grabe no, bilib ka. Sa susunod natin, bukas din, alas 5. Ha? Kalimutan, wag na niyang kalimutan lahat. Wag lang itong be okay. Maraming salamat. God bless. Bye-bye. Thank Bye -bye. you, Sir Bot. Stay safe po. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.